Hello, assalamualaikum guys and welcome back to another video. And today this video is on a Hackintosh, and it's been a while I have I have not uploaded a video on Hackintosh, and there were so many requests, so many people asking about when I'm gonna upload the very next video on Hackintosh. I was kind of switched to the vacuum chamber stuff I was doing, and I just invested some money on that, and that was kind of mess right now. So I was trying. I just try to promote that as well so let's get back to Hackintosh and I have many people requesting me that how they can fix their Intel HD graphics so I already have a video on this I made that video about five or six months ago I don't exactly know when I made that but this is a remap this is a new video on this and I hope this will work better than before and it this video will cater a larger audience because this is not only about Intel HD 4400 or 4600 it's about Intel HD 44, 46, 530, 560, 6000, 6001 and stuff and this stuff came in my mind when the Clover Configurator makers updated their Clover Configurator and added a huge amount of settings in it. So let's start with the video and the first thing you need to do is you need to download the latest Clover bootloader and after downloading the latest clever bootloader right now it's i think 4061 so you can download the latest one if you're watching this video in some later time so let's uh, so after downloading the clever you have to go open the clever configurator and after that you have to mount your efi i already showed you how to mount your efi in the previous videos as well and one more thing I just forgot to mention before is that you must have a proper HDMI or DVI or DisplayPort connection with your monitor. So if you're trying to uh, enable your Intel graphics with VGA graph uh, VGA port, that won't work that nice. And if you're trying, and even the DVI is getting obsolete, so you should better move to HDMI or DisplayPort. And right now the connection I'm using is DisplayPort it's kind of latest and you can see here and right now I'm having a problem with my Intel graphics that's not due to something related to the graphics but it's due to the monitor I have this is a direct drive monitor which means it sends two types of signal to the motherboard one is the basic resolution which is 1280 by 720 and the second is the max resolution it sports which is 250 2560 into 1440 so what the trouble this monitor is creating is that when it sends its basic resolution to the clever configurator clever configurator thinks that's the maximum resolution the display gonna support so it sets its setting to 1280 by 720 and until now I was not able to change that settings and I have even tried every method I know and I was not able to change that and that's why I can't get the maximum resolution on this monitor but if you have any other like a better monitor than this stupid monitor uh, as I already had that Dell U2410 I was able to get full 1200p resolution on that but I was not able to get even 1080 on this display so this is because of the display I haven't, have, I haven't changed any settings in my system but and if, even I connect the older monitors that work really nice with this they get their full resolutions from this Intel port and even I was able to use two different uh, monitors on this Intel graphics but this is troubling up the display I'm using right now this HP ZR2740W because this is a direct drive as like you can say this is a cheap one cheap model for a 2k monitor and I'm gonna sell it soon so let's switch back to the topic I have went so far so after mounting your hard drive you have to go to home you have to click this config.plst down here if it's not clear to you zoom back go into graphics click load vbios inject intel and here you can add 1024 vram and right now here you have to add this id if you are using the 4 gen intel cpu which is haswell and this is for desktop it means all of the intel desktop graphics use the same same model it, even it's 4400 or 4600 and right now i'm using only these two things three things basically load vbios inject intel and ig platform id 
which is 0x0d220003 and I can show you that I was not using the previous fix which I created to get Intel graphics which was to place the files in 10.12 that Intel Apple graphics stuff and I haven't placed any of that kex here I'm using basic 4 kex right now and I'm getting the Intel graphics working and to let you people like clarify to cl just to clarify I will show you a small uh, benchmark stuff of that Tom Rider game I played on that Intel graphics so to clear that I'm getting the full Q I and E what you call it full acceleration stuff and we will go to the graphics section now and you can see the settings I will go to the advanced section and I will set everything to normal 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 shadow resolution normal Anti is spoken to get it low, man. Like two is n good for Intel graphics, and everything is normal. Two settings are at high, and we will apply the settings. We'll close this. Go back. Oh, I will see if so I will check that there is no there is no frame per second barrier, and we will go back now. Close benchmark so I will fast forward the benchmark for your A so you don't have to watch all of this but let's do the benchmark at least so here is our result and we got quite a decent result minimum 20 FPS max 30 and an average of 26 frame per second on medium to high graphic settings on Intel HD at 720p resolution so that's all for the resolution stuff and let's go back to our clever configurator so for the people with the latest uh, Intel CPUs for example people with Broadwell and the clever makers have advised people that if you're going on HD 5300, 5500, 5600 or 6000 you can use this and you better use that MacBook Air 6.2 or 7.1, like 6.2 and 7.1 or MacBook 12.1. I just want to tell you that I, will, I used this one, Skyline Mobile 1916 Tetra Zero, advised for HD 520, 530 and 540. I used this fix for an HP Pro Book. This was the latest Pro Book. I don't remember the generation, but it was the latest HP Pro Book and I used this fix and this worked real nice on that. And I used this with two of these load vbios and inject intel and i added the same vram amount and i tried different combination for boot display as well i tried zero one two three so to check if it changes anything but there was no big effect of this as well so this was for this and for people with broadwell they can go with this if they are on broadwell oh let me go here and this one i already told you that that's advised and what they have and if the advice thing it does not work for you, you can try different combination as they has already provided it. Because many different systems, many different CPUs come with various kinds of updates or modification or verification. And if we go back with Haswell Mobile, you can use this one. And for the Avi Bridge desktop, and I have seen that people with desktop have higher amount of success with these fixes than people with laptops because desktops are kind of more easy to run than a laptop and same is for the Ivy bridge and goes back to the sandy bridge and remember use this macbook pro 8.1 with this and that's why they have advised if you don't use it the sm bias won't load the right text and drivers and the fix won't work then so that's all for the videos guys thanks for watching hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it and if you have any other question please throw it in the comments below and like share and subscribe that's the red button right under the video that's it thanks again hope you liked it hope you enjoyed it until the very next video please take care allah hafiz